Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. And wow, this channel has reached 10,000 subscribers a couple of days ago. Can you believe it? Incredible. Thanks to everyone who has sticked around for so long. So yeah, I thought it might be a good idea or a bad idea, we'll see, um, if I just talked about one or two things that you might find interesting too. For example, um, yeah, I was in Sonic State. Total surprise, thanks to uh, Nick and the team for including me. The topic was, of course, uh, Raspberry Pi synthesizers. And they had some opinions on that. And um, yeah, let's talk about uh, Raspberry Pi synthesizers and whom they are made for, who can use them, and where they are headed. Raspberry Pi videos are some of the most popular topics on my channel. So some months ago I posted a poll and asked you if you actually end up using Raspberry Pis in your musical projects. The answer didn't really surprise me. Nearly 70% of you answered they don't end up using their project they created on the Raspberry Pi and actual musical projects. And this of course is congruent with what the Sonic State team had to say about the matter in their opinion, it's nice that Raspberry Pi projects exist and that there are people who care about them and enjoy them, but given what they are, you won't use them in a professional music studio. To be honest, in the last couple of years, this was my impression too. By choosing Linux as the main operating system on the Raspberry Pi, we were given access to a lot of great and useful software synthesizers at the expense of running an operating system, which isn't perfectly suited for running musical applications. For example, remember when they swapped out Jack and Elsa for Pulse Audio in the end of 2021, which introduced a lot of unnecessary latency to audio applications. And also, if you go back to my older videos and try to build one of those software synthesizers according to the instructions I gave you two years ago, that simply won't work because the software has changed, the operating system has changed, the C compiler maybe is out Dated, and maybe the drivers have changed as well, you're stuck with a lot of problems there to overcome. And while some people might find that challenging and interesting and entertaining, there are a lot of other people who are just musicians and who will just want to create music. Take a look at the other side now. What if you do enjoy building things? Well, that's a completely different outlook then. For one, these parts are quite cheap, so uh, they used to be before the chip crisis, and I guess we'll get back there someday. And the arrival of bare metal development environments means we can now get rid of the overhead of the operating system, enabling developers with intermediate knowledge of the subject matter to convert the favorite VST plugins into a bare metal synthesizer. And given the wide availability of uh, components like these or parts like these, I think we should change our viewing angle from why should we do this to imagine the possibilities? And given that Cork's latest releases like the OP6 or the Mod Wave were all based on the Raspberry Pi, I think at least someone got the message. So, building and planning your own hardware synthesizer in terms of research and development and actual financial investment and also development skills was never as cheap as today and it will only get cheaper once the chip crisis is ended. And I'm pretty sure we'll see a lot of exciting bare metal projects in the next month or years to come. So getting into this could be a great business opportunity and of course a big opportunity to have good fun. Whether you're a hobby musician, a hobby developer, or if you intend to build your own business on music hardware. Okay, what else have we got? It's super booth time. So I'll grab my camera and maybe a musical gadget or two and I'll capture some of the news they are going to present there and I'm hoping I'll meet some fellow YouTubers also. So if there's a topic you'd like to see me cover, if I have time I'll try to do that, please write it down in the comments below. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting. And whether you think I'm just a rambling lunatic or if you think 
Bare metal synthesizers based on Raspberry Pi are going to catch on. I'm always happy to hear your opinion or read your opinion down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.